Hey everyone, um, there are some big updates for Terra Luna Classic. Look at this, um, exchanges are talking about it, so be sure to smash that like button. The Terra community has passed Proposal 3568 and 4159. What exactly does this mean? I'll keep you guys updated with more news, smash that like button, and um, guys, some big, big news overall, which will introduce a 1.2% tax burn for on-chain transactions of Luna Classic on Terra Classic Network. Uh, so. Uh, some members who created Terra Classic Vita also created the Rebel Gear Shop. The money would go to five people. And to the developers, currently the way to remove from Terra Rebels team because I was against individuals that profit from the community. Um, so there's been some drama as well. Uh, that's going to be another thing that I'm going to be looking into. I usually don't like covering drama. I hate covering drama because I always think that's tied to another side to the story. But... Right now, Terra Rebel said, as a united, diverse, and rich collective of people who aim to take Terra Classic great again, um, unfortunately, it takes some time to realize that the glitters is not gold. Fool's gold is fun. I'm actually going to, um, you know, uh, retweet that. I think people um, will take um, their own personal opinion. I'm going to retweet that. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. We open our arms to support people to help their crew crawlers shine brightly. Uh, that's another big thing that I'm seeing right now. Uh, so that being said, uh, we're seeing lots of news right now. Like hit the like, if you're still holding Luna classic, like a lot of people are talking, uh, hating that. Uh, so what we are seeing right now is just a lot, a lot of news. Like Sheng Peng Zhao had, had his birthday, you know, um, and that's the big thing because who is he? Well, he's the one that supported Terra Luna classic. Uh, and that's really, really important. Uh, but doesn't look like he has, the, you know, the birthday on here. But I, I'm sure a Terra Luna Classic team and the Terra Luna uh, community will actually wish him great when he does it. But another thing that, that I am really, really excited about um, is Binance more than all other exchanges combined. And, and when you think about it, Binance is moving tons and tons of Terra Luna Classic out there. Um, Binance is moving also and supporting tons of Terra Luna Classic just overall. And, and when this happens, you know, trading volume has went immensely up. When this happens, guys, I'm going to be so, so happy because Terra Luna Classic has all the support from the big whales. And the 1.2% burn, the 1.2% uh, tax overall could be huge. Could be huge, guys. And that's what I'm really excited, you know, seeing um, and, and moving forward with Terra Luna's Classics 1.2% burn, with so many big exchanges being out there, we could be seeing a massive, massive influx of whales. But if you guys want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button, and I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Binance just made Luna Classic into a borrowable asset. Like that's big news, right? Um, and that's what I'm pretty excited about. There's going to be more and more news like this um, if you guys want to smash that like button. Uh, and that's what I see. Like, total volume locked has increased to 15.23 million. So much is going uh, on. I mean, I love this. I, I love this. Um, I love seeing Terra Luna Classic uh, going up in the future. So... What I really want to see is where will Terra Luna Classic be 10 years from now? Where will it be one year from now? Because the roadmap is out there. The, 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 the total value locked is out there. So I want to see what happens next. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And I'll keep you guys updated as always. Until next time, peace everyone.